Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Cannon. I thought there would it might be useful to have a video talking about how to figure out where to find your spot for your mouthpiece of your flute. This is called the head joint. It could also be called the mouthpiece. And we um, blow across this part to make the sound. All right. This is really the first thing I like to practice with the students that I teach is figuring out exactly where to put this. So the first thing I start with is saying the letter M, M like that. And I'm going to center the whole of the mouthpiece in the middle of my lips like this. Okay? Next, I'm going to roll it so that the hole is horizontal. You shouldn't see a lot of it. It shouldn't stay rolled in. I like to say this is like Goldilocks. Not too far, not too close. It's got to be just right. And honestly, right now, I can see it horizontal, but it's hard to see on the camera. So let's set that up. M. We're going to blow across. My air is coming right to you guys, right to YouTube. Okay, let's try that again. Now, if the sound isn't working, the first thing I want you to do is make sure you're centering it and having a horizontal um, mouthpiece hole. If you can see it, it's not going to work. If you can't see it, it's really not going to work. You need to do that and then blow across. I like to talk about blowing out birthday candles. Uh, that'll give it some air force blowing across. One other thing that could be a problem, you could be puffing your cheeks out. I'm trying as hard as I can, but if I don't keep the corners of my mouth tight, it, the sound isn't gonna happen. So I like to um, combine a whistle and a smile. Here, so whistle and smile, and that's the face I'm going to make. Other thing you could think of is saying the word we and then the word to. We, to. Locks the corners of your mouth right in place. And then the third thing you can think of, what if I just took half a lemon and shoved it in your mouth? You would have a, ooh, a very sour face, right? I'm not going to walk around the world talking like this, but it's really the way to see that the corners of your mouth are where they're supposed to be. Okay, we too. There's my sour face. And I blow right across. I hope some of that helped. Take this to a mirror, and that's going to help you see if the hole is in the right place. Okay? And above all else, have fun practicing and ask your teacher if you have any questions. Have a great day.